Uh, give Clemson a lot of credit. I thought they played really well today. Um, us, on the other hand, I didn't think it was one of our days. Um, you know, I just obviously, um, I, what I talked about with the team was a couple things. Uh, Wake Forest first half, I didn't think we did a great job of defending. Uh, we outscored those guys, so we had 52 points at the half but gave up 46. And then I thought we did an awful job um, defending against Clemson, you know, giving up 54 points in the half. Um, we fought, and I think that's not a surprise to anyone now uh, about this team. We're going to fight, but you, you put yourself in a really tough hole when you give up that many points in the first half. So uh, disappointed. Uh, this team has um, you know, been really good all year long. We've had a couple games where I didn't think we defended. One of them was tonight. Um, the other thing is we look a little bit like we, we just would, we didn't have the same pop that we normally have. And, uh, you know, when you're – when you can't rely on your defense to get stops, I thought we did a good a job, a better job in the second half scoring the basketball. Uh, first half we didn't, and then obviously it was just an uphill uh, battle from that point on. So we will have to learn from it. Uh, the fortunate thing we've been on the other end of it, where we played well and we were able to score and we defended, but today wasn't our day. So we got to get better uh, as a coach. That's completely on me. I'll have them ready to play and get better defensively, and we'll we'll take the next step that we need to. Questions. What's so hard when, you, when you're playing catch-up, and we've been behind, but we've never been behind at that deficit, and we just, we, because we didn't defend and we kind of, the game, the game got away from us. Uh, I thought we had moments where we chipped away in the second half, um, but it was such a, you know, you, you would make a, you know, five, six old run and you're still down by a lot. And so psychological, that bothers you a little bit. Um, not worried about our guys. It was a tough game for us. And if we can figure out how to learn from this, we'll move on. Well, you know, we just, we're not, we haven't guarded. And part of this, let me say this, is the two teams that we play in the first half, they've shot the hell out of the basketball, really shot it well. And we haven't, we haven't done a good job of defending. Like, like, you know, you look at these guys, they really came out, they shot the ball very well. Uh, they shot the ball, Wake shot the ball very well, and, and obviously it put us in a deficit. We've been one of the best defense, de uh, three point defending, three point defense defending team in the conference, and the last two games, those guys have really shot the basketball, especially in the first half, you know. No, we just got to be selfish. I mean, we, we have to, you know, it's, it's a, we talk about making a miss. Uh, you know, we have to, you know, the best way to keep guys from scoring the basketball is we can't let them have the basketball, especially when you get some guys from a hot hand. And you look at um, Revin Galloway, he was really hot coming out of the stretch. And it seemed like everybody on their team made a three from us. And it put us in a, a tough situation. Like, we've done a really good job. Like, this team, this particular team has done a great job of really defending the three-point line. And it hasn't happened the way I wanted to, especially in the first two halves of um, – Wake versus Wake and Clemson. So, well, I think they gap you, and they do a good job. And and one of you know when you're playing against a Clemson team, you have to be able to create a shot for someone else. It's hard, you know. We have you know two guards that really can break you down, and they really can score the basketball because they can break you down. Uh, but do you also have to be a willing passer? And, and it's only a second pass that you got because they sit in gaps and, you know, you may have a little segment to make that pass or, you know, one or two dribbles to make the pass. But if you dribble over that, you kind of you're playing against, um, you know, three or four guys in the gaps and everything else. And if you don't spray the ball right away, then, you know, you don't get shots. If you do, you'll get shots. And, you know, it's tough with guys like those two guys because they're really good at breaking you down and, you know, getting into the paint and really creating for themselves no we I mean listen we've had a great year and if you know I didn't declare that we were going to win a national championship after we played well early this year too so I'm never going to declare that the season's over we had a it's a tough game I don't you know I don't like it um, I'm sure they don't like it and I'm glad they feel that way but you know we have to move past it and we got to figure it out you know that's what it is you don't you know one thing I will say about this team we haven't gotten too high or too low and, you know, we've been able to look at the game for what they are, and we had to figure it out. And Clemson was better than us today. That's just, they were better than us. I think it's a combination. I don't think it has anything that would do with our energy. You know, we played against um, what we call a, uh, we call a really good shooter, Green, and we haven't defended Greens in the right way. So the three-point line has become a, a great weapon. And when you don't defend the three-point line, you know, it really 
puts a lot of pressure on you, and we just haven't done that. You know, we those two games, I think we ended up giving up 12 against uh, Wake, and I don't know what it, they they make 10 tonight, and most of them in the first half. And you know, it, it's in the second half we've done a really good job of you know breaking down. It's not an effort thing. Um, you know, I don't worry about effort with these guys because these guys have played great, and you know we've won 22 games and 12 conference games, so it hasn't had anything to do with effort. It's just on a couple of nights, I thought we didn't defend the three-point line the way we should have. I think Clemson was clicking on both ends of the floor. Um, I thought they were great. You know, we, you know, this team hasn't been the team that gives up 96 points. Uh, Clemson hasn't been the team that scored 96 points. I think it was their night. They made shots. And, um, you know, a lot of times when you make shots, okay, everything goes well for you. Offensively, you're making shots. Your defense becomes a little better. I think it was one of those days they saw a big rim. They made shots. Um, early on, we didn't establish ourselves uh, defensively, and I think that led to confidence, and they made more shots and more shots, and then obviously it didn't work out for us. Well, with us, yes, because we create opportunities off our defense um you know we we do a good job we're a great steals team we're a great deflection team and when you don't you know we don't we're not creating creating opportunities you know we can get stagnant on the offensive end and you know i i hate to say it and i, I told those guys you know we we uh, we hold each other accountable for everything that we do and we got to get back to holding each other accountable defensively and it's been really two halves. It's been the Wake Forest first half and it's been this half. Well, we just didn't come out playing well defensively. Jaquel's a man. He's a warrior. He is a, a great person. He's a great human being. He's a better person, human being than he is a basketball player. And we know, you know what type of basketball player he is. Um, he's the ultimate competitor. We're so glad that we, you know, he would decide to come to our program and join us. Uh, he's forever part of NC State family, even though you only get him for one year. But he's meant so much to us, um, to not just us as a coaching staff, but to, to Wolfpack Nation and also the guys in the locker room. And so we're going to miss him. Like, you know, we're going to – I miss all my kids. I love them all. Uh, but what that young man's been able to bring to our program has really injected some uh, energy um, on both ends of the floor and a positive mindset. No, we kind of, if you were not, we took an approach, if you were not graduating from NC State and you had a year of eligibility, basically we, we decided that they wasn't going to go through the senior night, okay? Had an eligibility. Um, Dusan did not want to. He wanted to kind of just, he didn't want to go through the senior night. So he's the only one, you know, obviously that we didn't put through, even though he hadn't graduated. And I know we're talking about whether he has a, uh, he's out of eligibility, but, you know, we'll see what happens with his injury. I don't. Um, you know, I got a, you know, there was a moment that it was a possibility for Jack to play today. And um, I got a text this morning from my trainer that he wouldn't be able to go. And it was so close to game time. I really didn't have a conversation to figure out, you know, what's the, you know, what's the hold up. I know he, there's nothing major, but he took a nasty fall and really sore. And, you know, I don't know when he's going to return. I mean, that's a that's a tough one to come back, and then you know it could be two days, it could be three days, it could be a week. I don't know. Well, I I, I will say this: um, our you know our fans have been really good, um, and give our players credit. You know, at the beginning of the year, it was very slow. Um, we can say pandemic, uh, we could say you know lack of winning from last year, uh, but I think you have to look at this team and the personality of this team, and they completely turned everybody around. Uh, we went from not having a lot of people. Now, we're not the only team in the country that don't. We're still, let's make sure we understand this, we're still top four or five in the conference in attendance. So a lot of people, they make a big, big deal about it is you check the numbers and you'll see that we still got more than 10, 11 other teams in, our, in the league. That being said, our play earned it. Um, these guys play earned it. Their personalities earned it. And so I want to thank those who, you know, took the time maybe early to look at it and just didn't turn their back and say, hey, man, you know what? These guys are different. They're a good basketball team. And they showed up. And they showed up in a big way. Um, the Carolina gang was probably the loudest that I've really had. I heard it here. Um, as far as Greensboro, I don't know. Uh, I got to, you know, we're, we're going to turn our 
concentration into Duke on Saturday, I mean, on um, Tuesday, and then we'll try to figure out, you know, what's the deal and, you know, wait till other people, you know, because we don't play on Saturday, we still got to wait and figure out where we will be seated because other teams will play on Saturday. And then, but you're more than welcome to ask me that question in about a week or so. I just, I don't have an answer for that.